Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. Kisses to you. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful evening. It is Sunday. I do have more to say. So I know I've been pushing out these videos. So it's a lot that's been happening. But guess what? I have 3,000 subscribers. I don't know how that happened. It is a miracle because we were like three or 400 down this week. And I am just in awe of the, you know, it feels so good. Thank you guys. I can't express enough how grateful and honored that you guys support me. It really, really, truly means a lot to me. Okay, so let's get started. Megan's in trouble. Megan has finally managed to, it's not even about her career anymore. Now it's all about um, her reputation. Um, is she going to be sued? It, what this? What what happens next? And pretty much, people are calling for her titles. They want them. They want her stripped of them. And I understand the reasons why. And the reason that they have it is because she is attacking an institution that is um, focused on helping the people. But Megan won't let them help the people because she wants to be involved with her shenanigans. And so the best thing for them to do is strip her from the titles to get her to calm down. And I don't think it's a blackmail. I think, I, I think it's an ethical move by par parliament or by the royals to remove the, the titles so that she doesn't represent the royals anymore. Because you can't represent the royals and start talk, calling them racist. So the best thing for them to do is to cut ties altogether and say, you know what? It was fun while it lasted, Megan. Uh, did you have fun while it lasted? Because you are no longer considered a royal. She So, um, what is her name? Kelly Rowland. No, she is not a royal. royal. She is not a princess. She is being stripped of it. As we speak, they are trying to find... One of my subscribers told me just as early as next week, they can take them suckers. Let me read what she said, okay? Oh, and I believe it. Okay. She says, and I'm not going to say her name because I didn't get permission. It's This is why you got to read the comments. The comments are the best, okay? <laughs> it still would have to be passed by Parliament... If passed, they all agree on it next week. And it's done next week. Otherwise, it would it would to it has to go to the house again. And if nobody objects, then it is automatically passed and sent to King Charles to sign off on. Wow. So if it is signed off on, will we know? Will they tell us? Like the like, will they let us know what's going on step by step? Well, we put the we put it in place, and now it has to be, you know, agreed upon. And then once it's agreed upon, we're good. And once it's you send it to Charles for signature, it's out of his hand. He has no control, which is a good thing. So then they can't blame King Charles for taking something that he had no control over. And so then they go on to say. Um, I'll believe it when I, it happens. Me too. Me too. The newest thing is from Neil Sean is that Megan wants her picture down from the Royal website because she doesn't like the picture. She apparently has a better one to put in its place. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. It is. She's she's deaf to everything that's going. She she. She doesn't see that there's something wrong with what she's doing. She only sees her version of it. And she believes that we have needs to see her version of it too so it can make sense. But no matter how she explains it to us, Megan, it will never make sense to us why you think it's a good idea to trash our family. Look at the conversation. The conversation has went from oh, the conversation has went from talking about William in a book and how uh, Harry missed the flight to there's a book that has gotten uh, released in Holland that names two rural, rural races to naming the rural races to who's, who did it and how it happened to Megan. Stripping of titles. 
But all roads, all roads lead back to Megan. The despicable, the, the nastiness. The, and I know I say that a lot. Let's move on from that. But it all roads leads back to Megan. Megan isn't saying anything. She has nothing to say. She's never been this quiet when her name has been used and talked about and thrown about in the media. Megan is the first to start talking. She is all through this book, how wonderful and beautiful she is. And then she's the only access to the royal races. So, and now she's quiet. She has nothing to say. Like they said, she didn't want quiet. Mm -hmm. She's hiding. And I don't know if she's hiding for a good reason or I don't know why she's hiding. But inside her, she's not feeling any remorse or any kind of way that she's done anything wrong. Because number one, she didn't put the she didn't put it in a book. Oh, but Scobie did. And Megan's not throwing him under the bus, and he's not throwing her under the bus. They're using each other, Kinsley. I would be shocked if she came out and said anything. And one of my subscribers said there's a contract running around. So, would Megan benefit financially from this book? That would be a scandal. No, I just think that there is... People know that it's Megan that's doing this. It's not a big secret. And for her to be quiet, it's shocking because she's always talking. And for her to not have anything to say, that is... She loves coming out with a statement, debunking something. And for her name to be all up in this book, and she, now she has nothing to say. No, she's probably cowarding around Harry, trying to figure out why everybody's so upset with her and not upset with the fact that um, um, Catherine's a racist. Yeah, I do believe Megan is upset that we're upset with for the wrong reasons. We should be upset because um, because the way that Catherine treated Megan when she was over there. She didn't help her with her mental health situation. Oh, and we should be more concerned about the races than we are who said it. It doesn't matter. Why does that matter to anyone? That's what she's thinking. Why does it? Even, and guess what? What Megan thinks, her sub squad thinks too. Because I believe Tess and them are going to start coming out defending Megan and she's going to sound just like her. No, 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 no. She wants to know, just like the two-hour car, car chase, she was appalled. Megan was appalled at why we didn't believe her story. And she came back the next day and doubled down on it. She says she was in a, in a, in a situation where she was scared for her life. Regardless of what we thought, she doubled down on it. She doubled down on the two-hour car trace, chase and then demanded the uh, demanded pictures and demanded stuff from the police officers and all that. And they said, no, we're not giving you anything. Then came out with that bogus, fictitious statement that she was shaken up because she kept going around the block. She made that story up and people in New York started making fun of her. But now she's playing with someone's reputation and it's not funny. But people are looking at Megan because we know Catherine and King Charles hasn't is not racist. How could they withhold a kingdom? How could how could they be this popular if they were? And then all of a sudden they say one thing that wasn't racist at all. It was a curiosity conversation. And she then ran with that and made them be racist. It's appalling. It's, 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 and then if you dig a little deeper, it gets even stupider because they were, con Catherine is concerned about how the, the how, what would happen to the monarchy if his skin is start, dark. What's going to happen? It's going to crumble to the ground. What is that? He's not going to get his pacifier. That's that stupid stuff. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. This is what I heard, and I said, okay. I was in there trying to do my date. I was trying to do my little housewife stuff, fold clothes, those clothes I was showing y'all the other day. Put them away and hang up Kara's clothes, or school clothes. Mm -mm. Megan, she won't be quiet, so I blame her for this. Louise, there was always going to be blowback on the Sussexes. What's been the reaction? Well, the reaction almost is that the pair of them belong on Big Brother. I mean, they've been accused of having a very sort of low-rent 
um, bad strategy to publicity, not befitting a royal status or even someone who's left the firm in recent years as well. She said they they are not. Hold on, I've been licking my lips and they got real dry. And I found this. <laughs> and um, I used to get in the mail, and I know I'm switching the subject really quick, but give me a minute because it was really bothering me right here. Um, I I would I signed up for to get like makeup or like a sample of makeup in the mail, and this came with one of the samples. And they send you some great like expensive Estee Lauder kind of makeup and stuff, but I stopped doing it because. I wasn't using all this, all these samples and stuff, and so that was that was for. I'm gonna rewind it a little bit, okay? On the Sussexes, what's been the reaction? Well, the reaction almost is that the pair of them belong on Big Brother. I mean, they've been accused of having a very sort of low rent, um, bad strategy to publicity, not befitting a royal status or even someone who's left the firm in recent years as well. And you know, they have she's pretty much talking about their reputation, their status is not the best status, not the best reputation, you know, since they left the royal family. Let me move on. I don't really understand what she means. Build um, a royal court, as it were, in Hollywood itself, and they've just blown it up. They've blown it up with this insistence on attacking their family, ostracizing their children from their cousins by virtue of that and all these. Ostracizing their kids from their cousins. I'm getting to what she's saying. Sometimes I gotta play it over a few times, but yeah, their cousins doesn't. We talked about this. It's sad. This is this is the life that their their kids have got to go through. Their mom and dad shenanigans against firing and, and being very mean and disgusting to their relatives, and then keeping them from seeing the very people seeing their relatives, but surrounding them by celebrities and and get that they know nothing about. A new family that Megan has conjured up. This is, and when I say this is the person I'm talking about, because she was wishing that um, little Archie had a brother and sister, so she, because she was alone, she was an only child. But she's depriving her kids of seeing their family, their grandfathers, their grandmothers, their their sibling, their not their siblings, their cousins. I think there's a problem with that. To Otherwise, there was I just want to make sure I didn't miss nothing, okay? What's been the reaction? Well, the reaction almost is that the pair of them belong on Big Brother. I mean, they've been accused big of brother. Very, very sort of low rent. Uh, um, a Big Brother, like a reality show. I get it now. Okay, because I didn't know what Big Brother she meant. So she's saying they belong on Big Brother, a reality TV show, because that's what they got going on. It's a clown show. It is. All they need is cameras. All we need is cameras now to watch and see it. Bad strategy to publish. It really has diminished them in such a way where if, if Americans that have these businesses that keep like Kevin Costner and stuff, they keep putting them on a pedestal on a world stage, it's going to damage their brand. It is. It, it's going to damage it even the worse. And we're going to be trying to figure out what, why. Because no one wants this kind of drama attached to them. I don't want her coming to my company saying a seminar will give her a million dollars for, for, for the visit. No, I would rather not. I would rather not. <laughs> not befitting a royal status or even She's not befitting of a royal. That's what I was saying. She's not royalty. She's not benefit. She's not fit to be a royal. She doesn't up and hold... She doesn't up and hold the qualities of being a princess or anything associated to royalty. And she was thrust into this family by an idiot. And now here we are with the dramatization. Let's go. In recent years as well. And, you know, they had such a golden opportunity to build. Um, a they had a golden opportunity to build anything. She could have made millions and billions of dollars. I really think that she could have. Even if she had a step down or still been in, she would she would have been like Ice Cube said, you can't do anything if you're not in the house. So woulda, coulda, shoulda, she was never going to do the things that she was needing to do. Not because she wasn't going to do it because it was it was doing it for someone else. 
she wasn't going to do that type of charity work because it wasn't for it wasn't benefiting her any. The only thing it will give her is a, a nice status, but that's it. It wasn't going to give her money. And so, no, she wasn't ever going to fit in in that arena. She was never going to be this person of change and we were going to see something different. It would have been beautiful to see, but she didn't even stay in there long enough to have an input or say on, say on anything. And she wasn't trying to um, have great suggestions for the monarchy. We will never know. I've never heard her say anything about her ideas. All I heard her say is that she was running from running from the wolves. And now she has nothing. She doesn't have, this agency is about to drop her. You give it a minute. They are done. They told her to shut up. I'm sure. And now she's doing the very thing. She They tried to separate her from the royals. They told her to separate yourself. These are the conditions of us taking you on or taking your money. You got to cut off the royal family. You got to do this by yourself. Your husband cannot be on this brand. This is da 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 And she has failed the task. Mm -hmm. And she has her own self to blame for her reputation never recovering. And she should have took Bethany's advice and just laid low for a while. No, every time you turned around, she was at some charity event, some parking lot event. <laughs> Yeah, it was an event in the parking lot because somebody famous might have been walking past and so she could go hug them and pretend like they were friends. No. <laughs> this girl has messed up and I think I'm, I'm, I haven't got over that shock yet because it, it's still, no one's calling Megan's phone talking about we want to make a deal with you. And you can't tell me that businesses and, and corporations and stuff is not hearing this through the grapevine and want to um, do business with her. But what, what is she going to offer to that business other than drama and trash? But she's all out. But her titles is up for, up on auction block. Cut the do do cousins by virtue of that and all the attacks on the family their cousins won't know their cousins they won't see the family her father may never get to see them kids this is evil so it, it's a very very strange um strategy even though we we're, we're being strange strategy new representation and you know new people guiding her on what to do but you know they're almost like reality tv stars and i don't say that in a favorable way of, at all <laughs> And the noise. There, there, there are broad, They're laughing at her. Obviously, consequences for the relationship. So you are being laughed at. They are not talking about what you want them to talk about. They are not talking about Catherine being a racist and, and Charles being a racist because they know it's not true. They're laughing at you because you're, the joke is back on you. <laughs> While you scheming and playing and, and trying to get this resurrected, you resurrected at your front door. And she has nothing to say. Someone said she has nothing to say. Not right now. Relationship with the rest of the family. There are a few barbs in Endgame for Queen Camilla, um, but query whether they'll actually stick the way they were intended to stick. Well, absolutely. I mean, Camilla is Teflon. This is the, the queen of never complain, never explain, which I think really did her to the late queen as well. But in the book, um, apparently Camilla rolls her eyes when someone mentions veganism or sort of gender identity issues. And um, this other sort of comment she makes, which I think really did her to the late queen as well. But in the book, um, apparently Camilla rolls her eyes when someone mentions veganism or sort of gender identity issues. And um, this other sort of comment she makes around, you know, it woke them, thinks it's, you know, a load of rubbish, which. So here, here they go attacking Camilla, saying that she's got a problem with gender issues and stuff like that. Uh-huh, whatever. That's not going to hurt her reputation. That's going to garner a whole new generation of fans who love her for her straightforward <laughs> attitude as well. So um, I think, you know, like I said, Camilla can't really put a foot wrong in this situation. No, none of them can. Absolutely. But Bronte, the more dramas that seem to engulf the Sussexes, the more it appears to isolate them from existing circles. Tell us about the society wedding they apparently weren't invited to. 
You know, this is a big story that kind of came in the middle of this massive bookstorm that's happening this week, and it's quite sad. So uh, uh, the Duke of Westminster, who is a longtime childhood friend of both Harry and Williams, and is... So word on the street is, is that there's a wedding going on. Um, Archie's godfather? I thought Tyler Perry was the godfather, but obviously, some kind of way, he's got another godfather, okay? But Harry can't go to the wedding. This is big stuff. To be actually Archie, Harry's son, of course, uh, his godfather, he's getting married next June. It's going to be the society wedding of the year, the king and... It's going to be the society wedding of the year. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Queen are expected to be there, Prince William and Kate are expected to be there, but it's understood that he and his uh, fiance and his family have decided uh, not to invite Harry and Meghan and that he'd actually wanted to, but he realised that things were just so strained between the family, they couldn't... Ooh, he wanted to invite them, but he couldn't because of the relationship put the royals in, in a position that they may feel uncomfortable. So wow. that's a really sad... Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. We can't go to this event together because I'm not sitting next to Harry and Meghan. And it might look weird, but if, if you want us at the wedding, this is where we're going to be. We're going to be far, far away from these two. Or we may not even come at all. I believe they probably said, listen, if you invite Harry and Meghan, we may not come. We're, I'm just telling you the truth. And I don't blame them. And I, I believe that more guests was like, look, if you invite them, we're, we're, you know, no. You can't tell me that they don't suck the air out of the room when they walk in it. In every event, every place. I thought that, and I know this has nothing to do with nothing. I'm switching it. That when she was on that stage with Kevin Costner, it just looked so just gimmicky weird. Like it was like she was some big famous person that was like our special guest. I'm like, okay, no, that, okay. I know I switched it for a second, but I just can't believe that. Like she's not the special, special guest. She's Meghan Markle that one is a wannabe. And I can't believe the way that she has behaved with this book and with Owen Scobie and the games that she plays and want to pretend like, oh, I don't know what happened. I didn't write the book. I can just hear in front of her celebrity friends telling them, I didn't write that book. That's Owen Scobie. And then we had nothing to do with nothing. No, no, she's lying. Situation to be in it really just again paints a picture of how far things have fallen for Harry and Meghan. You know, this is one of his oldest friends, and he does just have a few key friends left by many reports. So, yeah, the fact that he's this one's now over. to be excluded because it would be so awkward. You can imagine for the bride and groom, it's a really tough situation. It really it's hard is. enough when you're not royal or famous or royal adjacent planning mm -hmm. a wedding with mm -hmm. all the guests. You know, with this one, at the where he's seating everyone if Harry and Meghan are there. So, yeah, it's a it's a really sad situation, but really does just highlight uh, how far out of it now that how far out of the loop that Harry and Meghan are but Harry especially and Louise I've only got about 30 seconds left anything to add to that well to see his friendship group sort of you know crumble like this must be done hard all oh, his groups is crumbling he doesn't have a relationship with his family his family is gone and then he can't even go to a wedding that his family's gonna be at because of his wife look at your life harry no one envies you no one wants to be you no one wants to be in your shoes no man on or the, um or our, poor or harry which one no, you're going to be isolated and alone and your mental health is going to screw you because you haven't seen the people that you love in years because your wife is difficult and has issues. And so you got to follow along. You can't tell me here he's not missing home and missing his people and wanting to be there and trying to figure out how the hell he got himself into this. No, all he has to do is just get up and make a move. And obviously, he feels like he has no control. You do have control. We all have control. We all have control of our own destiny, our own minds, our own. You do have a choice, Harry. Make the right one. Quit allowing this woman to strip you of everything that you've ever loved or ever had. 
She's taking your friends. She took everything from you. And she pointed the fingers at your family and you let her. You added, chimed into it. And now you let her put Catherine's name in a book, the biggest betrayal of them all. And your father, he just became king. And then you did it around his birthday. And I heard he wasn't doing that great. But Harry doesn't care. And Megan, Megan sure the hell doesn't care. She more worried about a picture in the in the website, how she looking. She wants to update it. They need to take you completely off the website. I think maybe King Charles is sad because he knows he's going to have to do something about it. He cannot continue to not sit sit back and not do anything because what and it's taking some time to register. I'm telling you guys, we are still registering this thing, and some people have already hit the mad stage. Mad, mad stage. King Charles is trying to figure out how to solve this problem. But I'm sure there's people in his ear saying, it's time for you to do something because we can't continue to go on like this. They are going to have to act because they have hit this blame bullying situation has gone on too far with Megan and Harry. And now it's starting to affect them in their business, their business. She's affecting their business flow. They are supposed to be popular. They are supposed to be this dynasty. They are supposed to be everything better, more than what, what Megan sees. And she's trying to rip that. She's trying to take that from the UK people, I do believe. She doesn't care. She doesn't see the fallout and the consequences behind her behavior. And she doesn't care how anybody else feels. So she just continues with, with it. She treats everybody like servants. We are... We, she treats everybody like she was treating the courtiers. She's treating us like that. Like, I don't care. Yeah, I told him about the paperwork. Yeah, but now people are knocking on our door and want answers. And now she has nothing to say. And someone over there needs to say, like Tyler Perry or Oprah, you have messed up. You have done something that you shouldn't have done. We told you to get somewhere and sit down and stop all this nonsense. But no, you had to name some people. And now you opened up the can of worms. My movie, my show is back out there. But you lying, talking about you didn't call the family racist when you did. No, she's over there playing these games and the game has caught up with her. Because like I said, no one believes the story. Now people are pissed off at them and want to form accountability to stop the nonsense. And King Charles has the difficult task of making it happen. It's time. And maybe that's why he's sad. Because he knows he has to do something about these two. I would. It's, yeah, no. And then I, I wonder about those people like that one lady from Bridgerton that got on there and said, it's a white balcony. What are, what are they thinking now about the situation that, that Megan has dug up from the ground? Okay, let's see what else is. Yeah, it's a, it's a really sad situation, but it really does just highlight uh, how far out of it now, that how far out of the loop that Harry and Megan are, but Harry especially. And Louise, I've only got about 30 seconds left. Anything to add to that? Well, to see his friendship group sort of, you know, crumble like this must be heartbreaking for Harry as well because although he's, you know, launching broadsides at his own family, he's probably... When Harry was in line at that Navy Navy facility where him and Megan was supposed to be, got their name on everything, but it ain't that, that one, the Navy facility. The way he was looking at Megan was just looking at the back of her head like... Like he didn't know, like he just was in something he doesn't want to be in. It's too bad though, because only he can get out. Still hoping that his mates in the background will always choose him over his brother, but clearly that. No, Harry has chosen his wife over everyone. They tried to help Harry, they tried to warn him. They said, Look, don't do this, don't do that. And Megan said, Get away from them, get away from them, don't talk to those people. Yep. Because when she gets through using you, she's going to spit you out like a piece of meat in, in, your, in her tooth. <clears throat> I'm done. 
that she don't care. If she cared, I wouldn't think that she would do that. Her heart is hard. Allegedly. It's not happening at all. He's being ostracized by his own friendship group, which is quite tragic because it obviously doesn't happen. Well, to see you know things are bad when your friends start stop inviting you places because of your wife. You can't come here because of your wife. You can't come, Tisha, because uh, Harry, you, um, Eric, you can't come because your wife is. She gets out of control. She gets out of hand. She can't come. That's a pretty, pretty pathetic thing to have to feel like, Megan, that you're not invited. Harry is not invited because of you. It's your fault that his husband, your husband can't go and see your God, his their godfather to your child um, get married because of your shenanigans. No, you're not being invited to a Christmas celebration. For what? For what? So she can come back and tell us what happened in another Oatman Scobie's book and he can lie and say he didn't know nothing about the... He, his friendship group sort of, you know, crumble like this must be done heartbreaking for Harry as well because although he's, you know, launching broadsides at his own family... He's isolated. She isolated him. Isolated. Alone. No one there. By himself. No one to turn to. She's the only available person. Her and Doria. That's it. He has no family, no country, and no friends. He has nobody. Harry has no one. Again, he has no family. He has no country. He has no friends. All he has is her. That's it. Period. That is not allegedly. That is true. All he have is not yet. Probably still hoping that his mates in the background will always choose him over his brother, but clearly that's not happening at all. He's being ostracised by his own friendship group, which is quite tragic because he obviously doesn't have any real friends probably in America. They're all with him or attracted to him because of the royal connection. Right. It's you see what she said? They just like him because of the royal connection. It's something new. But then it'll get old. It gets old. Your celebrityness is as good as you are. Beyonce had done something in a while. And she was really quiet. But as she was being quiet, she was preparing herself for that renaissance. And let me tell you something. That's all people could talk about is Beyonce's renaissance move. And I like her white new hairdo. Megan doesn't have anything. And Harry's a prince without a country and without a family. And so the, the hype about him being in Hollywood, it's over. People are like, oh, there, there he is, there he is. No, no, your star power, he may have a little bit, Megan has none, but it is not what it should be. It is not on the level that it should be. Um, time for a bit of a, that's not happening at all. He's being ostracized by his own friendship group, which is quite tragic because he obviously doesn't have any real friends, probably in America, they're all with him or attracted to him because of the royal connection. Yeah. But, it's um, time for a bit of a rethink on who his mates are and maybe rebonding with his family, although that seems very unlikely at this point. Megan's not going to let him bond with his family. Let's get across the late... Hold on, guys. Okay, since we're still here, and I don't hear a little bit, let's play another video. Hold on, guys. Picked off this... Let's get across the latest Ooh, hope, in okay. this royal race. I have on this Here's cute the little top plan. later. Sorry, I was trying to adjust everything and I thought I was talking to you guys. I do apologize. Um, I did get approval from this shirt, so hopefully it's not too revealing. But let me hurry up because I hear someone coming. Um, I almost clicked off. I didn't mean to click off on some of these videos, so I do apologize. So if I can, I will let you know in my subject that oops, cut off. Watch out. I'm going to do one more video. It happened to pop up. It looks juicy. So let's do this one and then I'll let you guys go for the evening. Let's get across the latest the in this royal race route. Here's the original claim which kicked off this smoldering bin fire. So we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born what they wasn't going to be able to get titles they wasn't ever going to be able to get security and there was concerns about how dark he would be 
Every time I hear her say that, it, I cringe because I know no one was concerned about how dark the skin would be. They know that that baby was going to come out white. Everybody knows that. But they were trying to figure out what color the hair was going to be. Is it going to be nappy? Is it going to be red and nappy? <laughs> you know, what is it? No. When she says it, I cringe. And, and Oprah should have cringed too because it doesn't hold any weight. Let me keep going. That's all in those other videos. I'm not going to. Let me just see what she's saying. After the initial allegations were made, Harry said that he wouldn't ever tell who made the comment the subject of the allegations. Harry said he would never, he would never speak of that conversation again, and he would never tell anyone about that conversation. He said that. He said he will never, ever bring up that com. Let's let her. I hope she plays that it. Conversation. I'm never going to share. That conversation, I am never going to share. Either he didn't wasn't in the room during the time of the conversation, or and he never heard it, and so he really doesn't have anything to say about it. Or he's like he said, he's never going to share it, never going to talk about it because he knew it wasn't a racist comment. He knew that. And Harry probably was telling her in a joking way, saying, oh, they were wondering what our kids would look like. And then Harry, she tells Harry it's racist. And he's looking like, what? And then she convinces him that it is unconscious bias. It's racist. And he tells us later that, you know, I didn't really know about all of this stuff. You know, I had to educate myself. What, Megan was going to educate you on some stuff that she knew nothing about? Sorry, I know I did a rant. That was a rant. No, he said he's never going to share it. And then he shares it. It was one conversation. He tells us that it was one conversation. Megan says it was several. He says it was one. They lied in the Oprah interview. She says there were several conversations. And I even think uh, Oprah repeated it. But no, there were several conversations. In, in tandem that, you know... Um, they wasn't going to get the titles and no security because they were too dark. So they were going to say, Megan, guess what? Your child is not going to get security or um, titles because he's too dark. That's why you're not going to be able to get the titles. Now, if that was true, and Megan needed to find out when she had a went to them and said, is this the reason why my kids is not getting, getting titles? No, she didn't do that. You know why? Because her kids have titles. Prince and princess. And then he backtracked on that. In the Oprah interview, you accused members of your family of racism. You don't even... Right. Let me just let her play Let's it. get across the latest in this royal race route. Here's the original claim which kicked off this smoldering bin fire. So we had in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title. Uh, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? After the initial allegations were made, Harry said that he would never made. tell who made the comment the subject of the allegations. Beautiful. That conversation, I'm never going to share. And then he backtracked on that. In the Oprah interview, you accused members of your family of racism. You don't even... Really? Well, of the British press. So Wait a minute. Right. I, did, did Meghan never mention the that they're racist? She said there were troubling complications. Look at this conversation. I'm never going to share. And then he backtracked on that. Here we go. In the Oprah Watch interview, how he just go into shock. Of racism. You don't even. Really? Well, oh, the British press said that. Right. You lying. Did, did Megan never mention that they were racist? 
issues. He said there were troubling comments about yeah, Archie's there was skin concern color. about his skin color. Right. Last week on the show, we brought you allegations from Scobie's book that it was in fact two royals who surmised about what Archie's skin color may be. And while the names... So then he said, no, no one's racist over here. Megan never said that. Megan's innocent. And then Oman Scobie says this. It didn't appear in the English version of the book. It somehow appeared in the Dutch version. Oh, what is a inky one. dink. On page 138, it says in those private letters, an identity was confirmed. Charles. Well, I'm going to show it to you. It is just here. Later in the book, on he shows page us. 334, it states he, he shows that Charles us. also spoke in the letters about unconscious bias within the family after it was revealed that the King and Princess of Wales participated in such conversations about Archie. Rumours are swirling as you'd expect, but author Scobie remains adamant his version of the book never named names. Journalists across Fleet Street know, have known those names for a long time. Who? Oh. followed a certain code of conduct. I had never submitted... Never named names. Journalists across Fleet Street know, have known those names for a long time. We've all... What names? Those journalists don't know. Oh, so he's saying he, he's not the only one that knew? That has nothing to do with it getting in the book, though. They, they didn't write your book. You wrote your own book. Let's move on. Follow a certain code of conduct. I had never submitted a book that had their names in it. A claim the Dutch translator Saskia Peters appears to reject. As a translator, I translate what is in front of me. The names of the royals were there in black and white. I did not add them. What happened here is anyone's guess, and it's unlikely we're going to receive a straight story. Oh, no. In any event, if you provide information to a third party, you lose control over it, how it's presented, and when. These allegations have reverberated across the mainstream media, and in circumstances where the naming has become actually more prominent than the original allegations. But like any scandalous royal story, there's going to be a myriad of consequences, not least any hope that there could be a reconciliation between the Sussexes and the royal family. Okay, guys, listen, have a wonderful night. I got to go. Kisses to all of you. Um, I'm going to, I may upload this one in the morning. I've already done two. You guys probably need a break. Kisses to all of you. Thank you once again for my 3,000 subscribers. I'm so excited, so belated. Um, Megan really has messed up. I really do believe it. I do. I feel it in my bones. Like, unfortunately, she has managed to really ruin herself. I really do. You know, it's just unfortunate that she would take this road. It really is. And if nothing happens after this, like, like no accountability, which I think it is, it's still a shame. It really is that she continues to treat her family this way. Kisses. Have a wonderful night.